In November 1906, the schooner Queen of the Lakes set off from Rochester, New York, bound for the Canadian port town of Kingston. She never arrived at her destination. These are the first images of the lost ship. The Queen ran into a storm during the voyage and sprung a leak. The six-man crew clambered into a lifeboat and rowed to safety, but the ship and its coal cargo were lost. It now sits at the cold bottom of Lake Ontario. More than 100 years later, the wreck was discovered by Jim Kennard. Over the years, he's helped find nearly 200 wrecks in North American waters. It's like Christmas morning. It's like having a new present under the tree. You're, it's really an exciting experience. Every time, even though we found other ships before, every time it's the same. It's, it is really exciting. The rigging and sails of the Queen of the Lakes have disintegrated, but much of the rest of the ship remains intact. Its three masts still rise nearly 100 feet above the deck, ghostly reminders of an ill-fated voyage. Brian Wheeler, Al Jazeera.